guess. That's affirmative. Is on the back window too? Roll down all your windows. Hello, need your license, registration, and insurance. The driver's license, not whoever else's license that is. That's, I mean, I want they the car. take the, yeah. You're not driving the car? I don't need that. Where are you going today that you did not yield to the right of way of everybody else? I'm going back home. Okay. To and where are you coming from? Hoboken. I am Tally aware Hose. of that. This is Hoboken Police. Right. Okay, Tally, Tally Hose. Yep. How much do you have to drink today? I'm not speaking yeah. to you. Alright, so ask him if he's not talking to you, what makes him assume that you're drinking? You were at Tally Hose, correct? Yep. Are you I drinking? I'm not speaking to you. Stop. But it's yeah. true though. Gio, shut up. You were speaking. Well, you were drinking. No? Or were you just at Tally Hose? We're at Tally Hose. I was just at Tally Hose. Okay. So I'm going to have a field sobriety officer come and speak to you then. We're going to have okay. you conduct field sobriety. I'm sorry, so can I ask why she got pulled over? You did not yield to the right of way. You were at the stop when she sign. she was at the stop sign, she didn't make a, she didn't put her lights on? It's not that she wait. doesn't put the lights on. If, no, wait, wait, right? Stop Gio. talking, I'm not speaking to you. But, oh. but, 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 but Damn. the point. Gio, Gio, you were at the relax. stop sign. Gio, relax. Yo. The stop sign okay. means you are to stop. Right. Everybody else who does not have the stop sign has the right of way. You have to stop for everybody who has the right of way. And she didn't stop? You went before we did. Okay. Because we have the right of way. Right. So, that is why you were pulled over. Okay. Alright, I just wanted to know. I want to get out of the car. You cannot get out of the car. Yeah? Un abogado. Si me gusta, un abogado. I'm about to be a lawyer. Oh, yeah. That's, That's what I like. like. <laughs> they have Gio. a camera on. I'm okay. Oh, yeah. A little lawyer, I like it. He's your lawyer? You think I'm working with the one? I want to be a lawyer. Okay. Exactly. Alright, but he already told you why. Then you need to tell the driver why though. You don't need to tell the driver why they got pulled over? So you could just pull anybody over? You can't pull Yo, Hoboken no, cops are broke. <laughs> this is why I fucking hate Hoboken. <laughs> and I live in Union City. <laughs> Yo, wait, wait, wait. Because Union City cops will never. I'm sorry. Wait, Hoboken cops got 30 days to get hired. 30 days to get hired? 30? Damn, yeah, they hired these cops quick. Come on. Well, give us the tickets. Wait, wait. Damn, you know we're going to be cop Why? Bro, why? 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 What time did you go to work? In the morning? Oh, in the afternoon? No. So what time? You always work overnight? That's what you choose? It's up to me. Damn. 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 So when do you sleep? When you get home? Just don't. You don't sleep? Uh, during the day. Okay. <laughs> How many hours do you sleep you get? Like five? Depends on the day, you know? Okay. Interesting. You live in Hoboken? Okay. <laughs> I do it like I'm fucking for us No, I like him. I don't know about him, but I like him. She's gonna hide with the cops or us. <laughs> She's over Bro, here. Bro, I'm gonna go fuck <laughs> like at this point. I just care. Like, I don't know. He's always there. Kimmy, 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 Kim. Relax. He's gonna take a long time. Hey, 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 h
I could be a fat ass motherfucker. If I can't make the floor, if I can't fucking I'm gonna stop, punch you in the fucking face. Gio, shut up. I love you, but shut right now for two seconds. Shut up. I get it, Mr. Future Lawyer. Yes. <laughs> he said he wasn't talking to you. Let, God forbid. God forbid. Uh huh. I can't squat or I can't fing bend a certain way. And you what? And you guys are fing going against, you know, you guys are fing playing the sobriety test. If I, can, <laughs> if I can do this or that. That's up to the field sobriety officer to is, determine. Is, you know what's the beauty of going to court? You know what's the beauty of going to court? Look at the camera. Look at the police camera. And if okay. they don't have that camera, they can't fuck you over. <laughs> but let's just say they do it. And I'm like, yo, guess what? Driver, step out of the car, please. Let me try to fing battle over Yeah. Yeah, driver. Then no gun. Okay. Damn. Look at this. 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 This officer is going to be conducting the field sobriety. Um, okay. Huh? Oh, you're only alcohol. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were field sobriety. Okay, so I'm going to be conducting it. I apologize. Um, all right, let me see. Don't do it. I'm just trying to find a, a spot that's a little level and uh, a more clear. I mean, we can do it right here. This is fine. Okay, so do you have, um, do you wear any contacts or... Nope. Any medical good. conditions or anything nope. like that I should know good. about? Nothing at all? Have you been drinking at all today? Mm, yes. Okay, when's the last time you drank? Time hours. Like time frame. Would you say hours ago, minutes ago? Two o'clock. Two o'clock? Okay. That's it. Let's see. Okay. okay, we're gonna step over here actually because it's a little, a little free. All right, so you could stand right here. What I'm gonna have you do is stand right here on this line. I'm gonna be conducting a series of about like three different um, exams on you, okay? Right, Each right. exam before I conduct it, I'm gonna be asking you, or I'm gonna be explaining it to you, okay? okay. You don't move until I tell you to move, pretty much, right, okay? Go. So for, for right now, I'm gonna explain everything to you. The position that you're in is pretty good. Just um, put your feet together and just stay like that. So the first test I'm gonna conduct is gonna be an eye exam, okay? okay? During the entirety of the test, just listen to what I'm saying now and just stay in this position, okay? Don't move from that. All right, the only thing I'm gonna have you do for right now is, you say you don't wear glasses, you don't have any nope. medical conditions. I'm gonna have you look at the tip of this pen, okay? Get back in the car. car. So I want you to look at the tip of this pen, follow this pen with your eyes and your eyes only. Do you understand that? Okay. All right, so the next test is going to be a walking and turning test. Do you have any reasoning as to why you wouldn't be able to walk properly or turn or anything like that? No knee yep. problems or anything like that? Okay. So you're going to be using this line right here in front of you. <clears throat> stay in that position. I'm going to tell you how I want you to stand for right now as I explain this to you, okay? How you're going to stand is you're going to keep your left foot on the line and you're going to put your right foot directly in front of it, okay? I want your heel to touch the top of your, uh, your toe. So it's going to look like this and you're going to keep your feet to your side, okay? You can do that now. You can stand like that now. Yep, stand like that and keep your, no, nope, don't move, don't do anything. All I'm asking you to do is to stand exactly like this right. and listen to my uh, uh, instructions, okay? So you're gonna stand with your left foot on the line, your right foot directly in front, and your hands to your side. You're gonna stand exactly how I'm standing right now, you're gonna do that right now. Okay. Do you understand? Yep. Okay. I want you to stand like this. With your left foot on the line, right foot in front, hands to the side, just stand like that as I explain to you what you're gonna be doing next. Do you understand that? Okay, that's how you're going to stay. You're going to stay in that position. Do not start until I tell you to start. Do you understand? Do you understand? Okay, so you're going to stand. I don't need you to explain it. I'm talking to her, not you. So you're going to stay like this, okay? When I tell you to begin, you're going to take a series of nine steps forward and nine steps back, okay? I'm going to demonstrate it for you. I'm only going to take three steps 
you're gonna take nine. Do you understand that? Okay, so I'm gonna take three steps, you're gonna take nine. What you're gonna do, you're gonna stay in this starting position. You're gonna count out loud, keep your hands to your side, do not raise your hands more than six inches. You're gonna keep your hands to your side and you're gonna count out your steps as you take them, okay? So when you begin, you're gonna have your hands to your side, you're gonna stand in this position. You're gonna take nine steps forward and nine steps back. It's Once you get to your ninth step forward, you're gonna take a series of small steps to turn around and take your nine steps back. Do you understand that? Okay, so it's gonna look like this, all right? I'm gonna demonstrate it. I'm gonna take three steps, you're gonna take nine. Do you understand? Okay, so it's one, two, three, a series of small steps to come back, one, two, three, until you get to nine and then your, your exam is complete, okay? Do you understand that? All right, go for it. Okay, so you're gonna take nine steps forward, a series of small steps to turn back around, nine steps back, stay on the line, keep your hands to your side and count out loud, okay? You can begin when you feel ready. So you're gonna stay there in that same spot. I'm gonna have you stand again with your feet touching your side and your hands to your right side. Here? Yep, so you can stay right there with your feet to your side and your hands to your side, okay? This is your start position. You're, I'm gonna do the third exam now, okay? The third exam is a balancing exam. Do you have any reasonings, any medical conditions or nope. anything that would cause you not to be able to do that? Okay. okay. So this last one, you're gonna raise any foot. Don't do anything now, not until I tell you to start. You're gonna raise any foot that you want, either your left foot or your right foot, whichever you feel most comfortable. You're gonna raise it approximately six inches from the floor. You're gonna be looking at your toe the entire time or looking at your foot, hands to the side. You're gonna count out 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. You're just gonna keep counting until I tell you to stop, okay? If for whatever reason you place your foot down to track balance or whatever you're gonna do, immediately pick it back up and continue counting where you left off, okay? Until I tell you to stop. All right, do you understand that? How many seconds? So I'm going to time it, but you are just going to keep but counting, staring at your foot. I'm not going to tell you how many seconds. I'm, I'm going to track it. You don't need to know how many seconds. The only thing you need to do is count out 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and continue counting until I tell you to stop, okay? Do you understand that? Okay, while you're doing that, keep your hands to your side. Do not raise them more than six inches. Count out loud and stay staring at your foot, okay? 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and you're just gonna keep going until I tell you to stop. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? Yep. Okay, don't begin yet, don't begin yet. All right, you, you may begin. You have to lift up your foot. Okay. <laughs> Alright, you can start. Alright, so based on my observations and everything that was conducted in this test, I'm going to be placing you under arrest because I do believe that you are under the influence, okay? And I do not deem that you are capable of driving right now, alright? So what I'm going to have you do is take your hands out of your pockets, put your hands behind your back. I, I'll take everything from your pocket. Are you the registered owner for the vehicle? No. No, the registered no? owner is the passenger. Okay. Is the passenger capable of driving, to your knowledge? Or have they been drinking too? She's also been drinking, so. 
Okay, so the car's gonna have to get to Yeah, no. No, it's gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go into here just to take out whatever you have in here. Do you know what it is? Barber shop. Yeah. Okay. Right. We're gonna go right in here. Okay. Do you have anything that you need from the car, like your cell phone or anything like that? Your cell phone is in there? Yeah. Okay, I'll grab it for you. It's in the front? It's an uh, iPhone 11. Okay, they know which one is yours, obviously? Yeah, I'll hold Okay. She wants your attention. She okay. wants to conduct a test on her. She said her cell phone is still in here? I can't take a test. Huh? I can't take a test. Have you been drinking tonight? Barely. Not okay. Okay, so if you want to step out, I'll give you a field sobriety test since you're, you're the registered owner of the vehicle? My dad. Okay, so you're it's not the registered car. owner. It's my it's, is it under your name or your dad's name? My dad. Okay, okay, so you're not the registered owner. So legally, when we have a field sobriety or any type of DUI type situation, the car can only be released to the registered owner. Okay, I get that you make payments and everything, but the name on the, the vehicle does not come back to you, so we cannot give it to you. We can only have the registered owner. So if your dad is in town, or if he's close and he's willing to come pick it up, we can do that. We can have the registered owner to come pick it up. But if you're not the registered owner, we can't release it to you. I'd rather that than before get to it. Okay, so it's, at this point though, it's whatever comes first. If he comes first or the tow comes. The tow does take a while, I'll be honest with you. So if you can get on calling him now, Huh? Yeah, or you can call him here. I'm, I'm stepping away anyway. It's up to you. She's going to call her dad, who's the registered owner. He's going to come. I told her it's, it's whoever comes first. Her ID, since you're taking yeah. her up for you. Hers? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it's hers. That's it? This is all her stuff? That's all I have. Okay. Oh, we put her in this car. Um. So we'll leave our car and we'll take yours for now. You're gonna drink it. Alrighty, thank you. Oh, crap. <laughs> mm. I touched it. A second, sir. I put it on uh, on the door. Thank you. All right, I got you, so. Huh? Can you what? She's uh calling her dad. This is yours, right? Yeah. Okay. 329. Uh, we did a little flip flop of vehicles here. It's going to be Sepa Rivera transporting one uh, 1025 in radio call 127. 32942.0. 32942.0. Leaving second and grand, going to headquarters. I thought you were saying you were um, fields of already and alcohol test. No. That's why I thought you were from liquid. Do you have anybody who's sober that would be able to pick you up once you're released? Because you'll be allowed to call somebody to come pick you up, but if you don't have anybody that's sober that can come pick you up, you're gonna have to stay in our headquarters, huh? Oh yeah, we'll give it to you when uh when we get to headquarters. Yeah, that's fine. I'm only saying that because if, if to st for you to start thinking on it now, because if not, then you're gonna have to stay in our headquarters until you sober up more, for at least twelve hours, basically. 
machines work. Stand up. I'm just gonna do one more quick uh, pat down. I'll turn around. When I take the cuffs off, just put each hand, put one hand on the wall, and then put the other. Okay. You have your uh, puppy. Your legs a little bit more. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, uh, you have to take a look. Do you need any medical attention or anything? No, like no. I'm deactivating this one. 